What's up guys, Ali from Roman Motor Company. We got our beautiful 2008 328XI wagon. Uh, this is currently live on Bring a Trailer. And uh, as usual, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys the full car, give you a walk around, tell you a little bit about the car, a little bit about what we've done to the car, as well as the blemishes on the car. This is a 2008 with about 51,000 miles. It does have a handful of blemishes that we're gonna go over, but first we're gonna start over as far as the spec goes. So great combo, silver on black. It does have the premium, a premium package. It has the comfort access as well as the heated seats, which is my favorite being an all wheel drive. I expect this car to go somewhere where there might be a little bit of snow or colder weather. Uh, so that's going to come in handy. It does have the panoramic roof, which is great. And then overall, other than that, it's a fairly stock car. I don't see any modifications. We have not done any modifications to it. And all the maintenance, everything is up to date. So let's talk about a little bit about what we've done to the car. So first things first, we always talk about this is full paint correction and graphene coating. Uh, what that is, is polishing out all the swirls, minor blemishes, minor oxidation, things like that, completely off the paint. That's why it looks as good as it does. And then we follow that with a graphene coating. So that's what protects the paint, makes it very hydrophobic. So super easy to clean, nice and shiny, and it's gonna last like that for two to three years. The car is also fully dry ice plastic underneath the car. So there's no um, grease, dirt, debris. So for the next five, 10 years, this is essentially gonna look like a brand new car underneath. Same with the engine bay, it's fully been detailed. As far as maintenance goes, we've done, you know, the typical oil change. I think we did the spark plugs on it. We also did the full alignment on it. And uh, other than that, just, you know, full interior cleaning, uh, steam cleaning, all that. One of the things I did mention on the comments was uh, last time when we had taken it, when we took the photos, it was a little dusty. So we got the interior clean, looks nice and pretty. But yeah, let's go show you guys the interior and then we'll talk about the blemishes. All right, coming up to the interior of the car. So first things first, as we always do, smells great. I don't smell any kind of smoke smell or any kind of foul odors. Door panels, both sides look good. Dash looks very, very good. Biggest thing, I think uh, two of you guys so far mentioned it, it's a non-navigation model. So the dashboard on a non-navi single hump dash on E90s is my absolute favorite. Most of the E90 M3s that have that, it's extremely rare combo to find. And in my opinion, looks really, really good. Kind of gives the car a very classic look. Let's sit inside the seats and show you guys what else I find here. So uh, shifter feels nice and clean. There's no rips or tears on the leather here. Same with the e-brake center console feels nice and clean. The whole center section where the HVAC controls are and the head unit looks very very good i do have a little bit of maybe wear and tear on this audio knob other than that it's pretty good vents look good it is uh, missing looks like one of the vents i might have those in stock i might have some extras we'll see if we can fix that if not let's just mention that it is missing one of the clips on the vents the cup holders one of them's working let's check the other one that one is not working so let's mention that glove box nice and clean nothing there uh, you got the BMW floor mats, carpets are clean, seats look good. Another thing I want to mention is going to be the panoramic roof. Not full panel all the way to the back side like the Q7s we've done, but it still is very, very spacious inside because of this bigger sunroof. Headliner looks good, uh, visors, everything behind that is clean. We just tested the sunroof earlier on the driving video, but let's uh, test it out again. There's that, works flawlessly, that's good. Let's take a look at the back seat. All right, coming up to the back seats, uh, everything looks nice and clean. I don't see any major blemishes, rips or tears or any stains. Carpets look very, very clean. You got the black, dark gray carpets. Back of the seats look good. There's no uh, scratches or uh, dents or anything like that. Uh, one of the things I did notice is on the seats, we got two scratches on the leather. It's not ripped or anything, but it does show up as a scratch right here that I did notice when I was looking at the back seat from the front. So let's mention that. Uh, top part of the seats look good. Uh, overall, these seats look like they have very minor wear and tear on them, but something may have moved up in this area at some point, and that's what caused a little bit of um, scratch right here. Backside headliner looks good. Let's go take a look at the back of the wagon. All right, looking at the back section, uh, very, very clean. I don't see any stains, not too much dirt or anything like that. Obviously, it's been just vacuumed out. Got some tools in there. I think uh, it might be missing a plier, maybe, but overall, it seems pretty clean. What else we got? We got the original user's manual. Let's see if we got a window sticker. I don't think so. But overall, all the manuals and everything are here. So there's that. Let's uh, put these away. Let's talk about the blemishes. All right, blemishes. We're gonna talk uh, through the whole car and show you guys what we see here. So we got a scratch right here. That's pretty obvious, uh, right on the fender. We are gonna see the front bumper. Got some sort of dent slash scratch right here on this part of the bumper. 
and then coming up to the front side pretty clean i think there's a scratch that was here at some point it's been touched up not super obvious but i can see it there so let's mention that and then coming up to the right side of the car everything looks clean i don't see any major dings or scratches or dents we got a little chip right here on the door handle uh, and on the side skirt we got a couple scratches right in the bottom section and then some scratches that have been touched up it's fairly hard to see this car is fairly low and if you're seeing it from like four or five feet away it's almost very tough to see this in the pictures uh, that we posted and also in the video we're going to try to edit it in a way where you can see those a little bit easier but it's definitely been touched up there's a couple scratches so maybe like a rock hit it and it kind of bounced off or something but um, they're there they've been touched up it's not been fully repainted so when you look close it's definitely there but we'll get you guys a close-up video of that coming up to the back section and looking also on the right side very very clean i don't see any major dings or scratches the roof looks good there's no dents no hail damage or anything like that tail lights look good rear bumper let's take a look at the rear bumper all right coming up to the rear bumper being a wagon most people put their luggage and groceries and stuff in the back we definitely have some chips right here one two three uh, four five another six chip right there see the black chips coming up to the driver's side the driver's side is pretty clean um, i don't see any major dings or blemishes we got a couple scratches on the mirror right here and then we got maybe like two three scratches right about here maybe they were putting the key for some reason they may have scratched it but it's been touched up already uh, not super obvious and i do have uh, one little chip right here on the side skirt too i don't see any of the scratches on the side skirts uh, wheels usually we cover the car brushes i think this looks pretty good uh, but either way we're gonna have pictures of that obviously on the listing all right i think with that uh, being said we covered the blemishes we told you a little bit about the car uh, as well as some of the maintenance on the car uh, that covers everything we do have a undercarriage video coming up too as well as a driving video which we'll post on the listing as well and um, that covers everything happy bidding guys let us know if you have any questions i'll be happy to help goodbye